Level by Level Gaming here, and this is going to be another video on the PAPK3 Plus. Now, if you like my videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments, interact, that way we can work together to make this thing a better device. Now, what I have done on my mod up to this point is I've removed the middle row. That was all those additional games through the middle of the screen that people were telling me they really didn't need or want, so I got rid of that. I also kicked out that um, Street Fighter backsplash that happens when you shut it down. It just goes straight out of the device now. I've changed the icons, um, all the icons that go across the bottom. I've changed those, and I've also changed an icon for when you insert an SD card. Now, I have added just a couple backgrounds, a Nintendo, Atari, and Sega background, just to kind of go with the core of the uh, emulators and the theme I was going for. I've added some apps. In fact, I added the Commander app and Overclock app. Great apps. They definitely work hand in hand with improving your device. Now, with the emulators, I've added 13 total emulators to this device. Super excited about that. Um, and that was a lot of work and it took up a majority of my time finding ones that worked, getting them put on there, getting them to the resolution that I liked. Now, those are the things that are done all this side right here what is not done is added alternate emulators so if you've been following the video series or dangunity you're very familiar with jack's alternate emulators they work great definitely better than the original for all the nintendo um emulators game boy super nintendo nintendo all that definitely works better with these alternate emulators i have not put them into my menu yet um, and that is either putting them in as alternate emulators and having them as an option along with the stock or replacing the stock altogether. Now, believe it or not, I don't want to get into huge detail, but this has actually been a lot harder than I expected. And I've hit a roadblock with it, but I'm picking my way through it and trying to make this happen here. Definitely adding them in if I can't replace the stock just directly with them. Also, making those custom icons, that's just a tedious, time-consuming thing. Making the little black and white icons for each one of the emulators, that's not done yet. Um, making all the emulators full screen, I think there's two or three emulators out of this 13 here that are not full screen. That doesn't make me happy, but I'm working on it. They are playable though, even though they're in a small screen format. So I did leave some of those in there. And filling in the oddball emulators, the PlayStation original, the PSX, that being a huge thing that I want to get done, but I want it to be right for you guys. I don't want it to be glitchy. I want it to be as close as this device can actually accomplish with that emulator. So it's not quite made its way in yet. Um, that's a big not done so the way that i think here is i'm looking at this and i'm looking at the duns and the not duns and it's about 50 50. so i've got some big accomplishments accomplishments here and i've got some big things that i still have on the horizon um this stuff here especially with these alternate emulators them working so much better than the stock ones but you do have jack's menu so you do have access to these and i will get into that after this little whiteboard demonstration so what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish this video up with a power up and a overview of where we're at here there are some things that are definitely different from the video before some of these emulators i think there's three more emulators on here since my last video I've got my icons fixed to where they're not clipping, things like that. I want to show you that, and um, we will go from there. All right, here is the second half of this video where I show you what I was talking about on that whiteboard demonstration. And that is going to be the fact that I do have this stuff cut out through the middle. I have my icons fixed where they're not clipping. You can see here before they were... Um, expanding outside of the perimeters and cutting some of the image off. That's not happening. I got that fixed. Uh, do have 
the backgrounds here um, I have the Nintendo which I prefer and use the most for all my demonstrations I really like that black on red I have Atari and Sega plus all the stock ones here um, so you do have a couple extra backgrounds I've added the apps the commander and the overclock and I've actually got four more emulators on here than when I did my last video for that 13 total and so what we've added to the lineup is the 5200 now the 5200 is not full screen it is in this center screen and I thought about not even including it because uh, it just bugs me that I couldn't get it into full screen it's going to take a lot of work to get that completed so it is playable though and the games are enjoyable so I didn't want to cheat anybody I figured I might as well just leave it on there and make it part of the pack here so this game is really fun and I enjoy it so even though it is in this small screen I can still play it enjoy it and um, I left it in there so that is the 5200 emulator I have the the Amstrad CPC that is in full screen so that is a go that makes me happy and they play games either in a snapshot here or a disc let's just go with a snapshot and as you can see we have a working emulator but I don't really know what buttons do what <laughs> So, I guess he jumps and throws rocks. Oh, well, I got killed. So, let's play a disc image here. Uh, let's just go with this one. Let it go through its load up screen. Running sorcery. And there you go. So we have a working disc image. And obviously I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm getting eaten alive by some kind of floating eyeball. Run away. Anyway, so there is the Amstrad or Amstrad CPC. And we have ColecoVision. It is also in this small box in the center of the screen. Still working on that stuff. All right, so we do have to access a virtual keyboard here to be able to tell this what we want it to do let's go up to the one here so it selects one player and the skill level and there you go small box but very playable all right and finally let's end the emulators that i've added with the msx also in a small box in the center screen, but much like the Vetrix, it is almost to the edges of the screen, so it's slightly bigger than the other ones where it's that tiny box in the middle, um, almost there. So this is also very playable, and I decided to include it even though I don't have it full screen. Kings Valley. It's a game I always wanted to play. Uh, remember whenever I was a kid, but never got a chance. So, and now I'm getting eaten alive by zombies or mummies or whatever they are. But it is working, uh, the volume works. I just have it cut down so it doesn't talk over me. And there you go. So those are four new emulators added on to the ones from my last video to come to a total of 15 new emulators. The icons are fixed. That is some of the new stuff from my last video. Now, what I'm going to end with, because this has been a long video, 
I'm going to end with a question. And that question is, in my mind, this is 50%. Uh, it's not where I would want it to be to make like a official release, uh, almost completed with just a few minor tweaks. But uh, people have been asking me for a copy of this. They want to use it, play around with it, see it, put it on their device. So what I'm going to ask is hit me up in the comments. Let me know how you guys feel if I get the overwhelming idea that people want this right now as it is. I'll release it as a version 1 or alpha or whatever you want to call it. And if not, if you want me to iron out some more of these kinks, make it to where I would release it as a perfectionist, um, I'll do that too. So just let me know. Now, as far as that big deal about the alternate emulators and the fact that they work so much better because um, the Capcom, Neo Geo, Sega, Genesis, the Master System, those all stock work just fine. I'm not going to touch them. What has a lot of problems on stock, they're still playable, but just... Uh, has a lot of issues, sound issues and things like that, are all your Game Boys, your Nintendos and Super Nintendos, all these emulators here, They we have to have some alternate emulators uh, as an alternative to that. We also, if possible, can just pull these out and replace them. Still working on that. That's a big deal. It's something that I, I really want to get in there. Now, that being the case, you still have Jack's menu um it works with my mod because this is built over top of the stock menu so let's just go ahead and reset it here i can get my fingernail on that little tiny button come on there we go so Let it fire up. And there you go. I mean, we still have access to these alternate emulators. Um, that is a way that until I get this done and get this stuff that works, these Game Boy Color, uh, Nintendo, all these ones that are on here that work so much better than the stock, when I can get them out of their home here and give them a home in mine, that is where I hit that 90% level, guys. So haven't done that yet, but you still have access to it. All you have to do is follow your installation guide that's in my previous videos about how to get Jack's alternate emulators, get Jack's D menu that lives on this little card, this external card. So you still can play your Pokemons and things that don't run well on the stock. So that does make me happy that you're not stuck and you do have access to something that works. Well, there you have it. Um, that's all I got for you guys in this today. So once again, like I said, follow me into the next video. Let me know what you want me to do if you want me to release this thing as a version one release. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, subscribing, and catch me next time.